the intercontinental so destroyed they actually think that this is normal this is not normal you know it's not normal to be out here with trash all over the place you got bullet holes at the bus stop you got people passed out either drunk or on drugs this is not normal this is a bad condition so why do we live like this the brother's going to show you just give him a few minutes show him why we curse so he can understand the importance of knowing who you are and more importantly what we can do to lift these curses because that's what he's teaching man that runs the world temporarily has for our people. We went over his CIA, all his operations, and now what we're going to, we're going to show you something at the Bible. Read this. But they intended evil against me. So the Bible said they might intend evil against us with his drugs he bringing to the community, and he sends the jobs out at the same time, knowing that people got to eat. Understand that. These are evil intentions that he's put uh, these snares and traps our people in. Read. They imagine a mischievous device. And they imagine a mischievous device. We already covered that. And Micah said they, uh, they are upon their bed imagining sin and iniquity and evil to catch our people up in. Read. Which they are not able to perform. They ain't going to be able to perform the full measure of what they want to do. Only because of the Most High God. That's why we out here calling you brothers. Because you brothers are special brothers. Y'all ain't never been taught this. Y'all ain't never been taught how special you are. Like if I ask you. Brother, are you special? Why? Okay, what's our heritage? We are, well, what part of Africa? Alright, so we're going to show you. Right, right. But there was a reason why, they, why we was brought over. We're going to cover that. But I'm going to show you why, though. Because what you're saying is what we've been told. Give me do the rhyme. My people, this, this is why, what we see right here is a product of 400 years of oppression, systematic psychological warfare, snares and traps set up in the community, pitfalls. Our people suffer from low self-esteem and low self-worth. I'm going to show you something. Read that. This is the book of Durabri, chapter 7 and verse 6. You say, not you? Read that. For thou art. And holy people unto the Lord thy God. For thou what? For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. Uh -huh. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Uh -huh. Above all people. So if you are, if God tells you that you are above all people, are we supposed to be getting drunk during the day? Are we supposed to be smoking cigarettes? Because that's a low self-worth. These are devices and things that we do. But these are devices because you got to think about it. If I value myself, if I'm, if I'm special, if I'm special, why would I be doing something that I know that's bringing harm to myself? And it's nowhere in the Bible where it's ever equality. We've been taught that garbage, but that doesn't exist in the scriptures. There's no such thing as equality in the Bible. It's never been, name one time in the world where everybody was equal, where you had all kings on the planet. You always got a ruling class and a subject class. So this is the kind of stuff that our people are fed. Meanwhile, the people feeding us that garbage are always at the top. 
Like, you understand what I'm saying? Like, what kind of sense they say, look, we all equal, but long, we all equal as long as we at the top. And we, and this what this is what we do is we go, okay, yeah, we all equal. We fighting for equality, which is beneath our status because the Bible says, God says we're above all people. So we above all people, we want to be equal to them. Are we going up or are we going down? We going down, brother, that's right. Just like you bent down to pick up that bag. Did, did that. Right. Read that. This is the book of right. Second this Ezra. Is, this going, this going, this going to speak exactly what you just said. Because you're bringing out something. Read that. This is the book of Second Ezra, chapter six and verse fifty-four. Uh -huh. And after thee, Adam also, uh -huh. whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures, uh -huh. of him come we all. Because remember, he was made right. Of him come we all, meaning all people come from that in that image. Let's see. Let's keep reading. And, and meaning, in addition to that, the people also, the people also, that also come from Adam, whom thou hast chosen. Whom what? Whom thou hast chosen. So now he's taken, he's acknowledged that all people come from Adam. And uh, in addition to that, a certain group of people who he has chosen. Like, is that your favorite hat? But, but you chose that particular hat today. Exactly. But you got a multitude of hats, but you chose that hat. Read. All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord. So all these things have you spoken before us, O Lord, meaning what's recorded in the Bible. Because thou made us the world for our sake. So it's recorded that the world was made for the sake of a particular group of people. As for the other people. So as for the other people. Which also come of Adam. Which come from Adam, just like you said. Thou hast said. God has said. They are nothing. Hold on, what? They are nothing. Hold on, read that one more time from the top. As for the other people. As for all the other nations outside of the cho the chosen people, the 12 tribes, what we read in Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Which also come of Adam. Uh-huh. Thou hast said. They are nothing. It is recorded that they are nothing. Read. But be like a just spittle. So the, all the other nations combined is like when you talking and spit fly out your mouth. Little piece of spit. That's what God said. That's not what we said. We reading out the Bible. Right. Read. And that's like it, the abundance of them. So all the nations, the meaning the abundance, the collective unit of all these other nations outside the 12 tribes. Unto a drop. Unto a drop. That falleth from a vessel. So if you got a five gallon bucket to go wash your car and a drop fall out, are you worried about that drop? That's what God says, brother. Give me Isaiah. But you ain't never heard this in the Bible. We just we just acknowledge that. Didn't we just read that? No, that, those are converts. We know that. That's what I hear teaching. Read this. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 40 and verse 15. Behold, the nations are as a drop of a bucket. So that's what we were reading it again. The nations, this outside of the nation of Israel, are like a drop of a bucket. Read. And are counted as small, as the small dust of the valley. So you got a scale and it's got dust on it. And you hit the on button. How much does that dust weigh that's on the scale? Exactly. Read. Behold, he taketh up the aisles. A very little thing. So all the islands, the lands that they live on is a very little thing on the side of the most high. And Lebanon is not sufficient to burn. You can burn all Lebanon and it's not sufficient for a burnt offering. Listen to this, brother. Nor the beasts thereof sufficient for a blood offering. Uh -huh. Verse 17. All nations. All nations. Before him uh -huh. are as nothing. Are as what? Are as nothing. Uh-huh. And they are counted to him less than nothing. You see that? Church is out of devil. Right. Right. We about to show you some love, though. Give me Leviticus twenty-one and five. Matter of fact, give me uh, First John five and three. Because all we see out here is all hatred and academic. We got baby mamas. We got crackheads. We got winos. Brothers smoking cigarettes, sisters dressing like prostitutes. That's all hatred. That's all low self worth. Right. Right. We understand that. Let's get this done. This is the book of First John, chapter five and verse three. So we out here teaching love. Listen to this. 
But this is the love of God. So it gets no higher than this. This is the true love of God. That we keep his commandments. So we are here teaching the commandments of God. And his commandments are not grievous. Like, and his commandments are not hard to do. Nope. Now let's go to one. Give me Leviticus 21 and 5. We're going to show you a commandment, brother. Hey, hey, screw, screw, yeah, this brother. is the book of Leviticus. Oh, let me read this, then you, then you want. Is that cool? This is this cool. Let me get this out. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 21 and verse 5. They shall not make baldness upon their heads. So we're not supposed to shave our heads bald. This is a commandment, which was what we read was love. Read. Neither shall they shave off the corners of their beard. Right, so shaving off the corner of your beard, we got to grow our beard in full. What's your question, brother? About the commandments, you said keep the commandments. Right. Those who not keep the commandments, I consider what you say. Give me, uh... No, I'm asking you personally. Just I can't give you my words. Give me, uh, Romans 6 okay, and 23. Okay, well, I'm going to ask you to answer that. Just what I'm saying. Those people that's not keeping the commandments are not even saved by grace because the Lord died for our sins. No, they're, they're not. not. Give me Hebrews 10. I don't believe that. Well, you don't believe the Bible. That's fine. Yeah, no, nah, but you living in a, in a, in a, in a, in a, you trying to put standards of a before time Give time. me Titus you about live soberly rights in this present world. And Give me that Titus. You categorize people and expect that nobody else could be saved except keeping the commandments of God. If you believe that, man, that means that only if the Lord come right now, only you four or uh, how many of our God, eight to ten, out here, man, world. is going to be the ones that's, 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 that's saved. All right, so you're saying that's the old standard that we can't do now. No, I ain't saying New it. Test I'm asking you. New say, Testament. You are, you are living your life in the standard of an old time to the point of, as an Israelite, to the point of that. I, you know what I'm saying? Right, I'm saying. I'm living my life in the point of, to the point of You live your life is what you've been taught I in America. Right. right. We you understand that. Now, I'm saying, I'm just saying, in these times, Okay, let's we're gonna read this. Let's see if the you Bible live says. your life in accordance to those who did before, uh -huh. then that's your choice. Right, read that. But others we don't understand. have that don't make that choice. Yeah, we're gonna, we're and gonna that don't mean that this is the book of the land. Let's, let's, to hell let's, let's see what the Bible says. Let's I don't believe it. That's fine. We just reading out the Bible. Whether yeah. people we're not out here to twist anybody's arm. Yeah. We just reading as it's written. Yeah. Let, the, the scriptures already say that. Two thirds of our people are going to be put to death in America. We understand that. Read that. New Testament. This is the book of Titus, chapter 2 and verse 12. Mm -hmm. Teaching us den that denying ungodliness. So this is grace teaching us that denying. Start a book. Uh, what, what is that? Why does grace come in now? Read that. Read that. Don't come in during oh, so, okay, read this. Teaching us that denying no, ungodliness. I need 11, brother. Listen, it's because you were talking about grace. I'm asking you, yeah. Verse 11, for the grace of God that brings salvation. Because the grace of God brings salvation. We're going to break down what the grace is. Uh, like, what is grace? You tell me what grace is. Grace is, 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 is a way for us to get back connected to our creator through, through the Lord. But the how grace specific? Of, the grace of God. Okay, but specific, what does that mean? Because that's not really telling me what I need specific to do. Specific like a, grace is like a... a Having mercy, having mercy on. Having mercy on. So will we agree? So is this a fair point? That we all, we all, we all got bills. We all got bills, right? Right. And don't you have a grace period to pay the bill? Yep. That's not in the same. That's Okay. All right. So we're gonna we're gonna read we're gonna read Hebrews. We're gonna, read, we're gonna go to Hebrews. But read that. All right. We're gonna read. We, oh, so what we gonna do is we're gonna read Hebrews after this. But read this. This is the book of Titus, chapter 2 and verse 11. Bring it up. For the grace of God that brings salvation. Because it's the grace that brings salvation. We're going to break down what that That's grace is. Uh-huh. And appear unto all men. Uh-huh. Teaching us. Doing that, what? Teaching us. So this grace is going to teach something. In order to teach something, there has to be action. I can't just stand here and do nothing and teach something. Right. So something this grace is teaching is a form of action. Read. No. That, so denying, that, what? that denying that denying ungodliness. That denying what is the grace? The grace read it again? Teaching us that denying ungodliness. What is ungodliness? Is that good or bad? I know, is that good or bad? Is ungodliness good or bad? Grace. Grace. Ungodliness is hate. In the, in, in the sense of Jesus, the way that Lord Jesus died for our sins. We understand that. Read this. Teaching us that denying ungodliness. So 
gonna teach us that undeniable. Right. 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 Read that. Right. 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 And worldly lust. And worldly lust. That right. worldly lust. That we should live soberly. That we should live what? That we should live soberly. Uh huh. And righteously. And righteously. And godly. And godly. In this present world. Back then. In this present world. So that's crystal clear. What, so the Bible says, so you mean to tell me brothers no, no, can't no, stop no, getting no, drunk? No, you're right. It says that. Okay, it now says, go to Hebrews 10. It says that, the no, no, that book was written, man, like I said, back in them times, man. And he said in that present world. In that this, that, in yeah, this present in world. This so present your world, brothers can't stop drinking? Time, so brothers time. can't stop getting drunk? I'm not saying that. Brother. So what are you I'm saying? So brothers can't stop smoking pot? Why are you not even listening? I am listening. You're not making any that, sense. That book was missed. It's specifically mentioned that in this time, which is within that time that we. So now today we can do whatever we want to do. No, I ain't saying that. So what are you saying specifically? I'm saying that you you pointed out that it should be done. Give me in Romans this 15 time. and 4. Did that for you? Know, man. This is the book of Romans, chapter 15 and verse 4. <laughs> whatsoever things were written aforetime, hey, so what? whatsoever things were written aforetime, uh -huh. were written for our learning. Were written for what? Were written for our learning. Uh -huh. That we through patience uh -huh. and comfort of the scriptures. No, comfort of my cigarettes. Comfort of my of the scriptures. No, comfort of my mad dog 2020. Comfort of the scriptures. My crack pipe. Of the scripture, my math pipe. Of the scripture, uh huh. Might have hope. Might have what? Might have hope. So we out here teaching to a people that are without hope. When I look in our community, I see a people that is without hope. You know what we teaching? Or what we out here teaching, sis? Right. So you believe in Jesus, right? So that's the reality. Which, all right now, what the, what's Jesus? Okay, so you believe in the black Jesus? Right, right. So we, so with that, we're going to show you because here's the thing. A lot of our people, intellectually, we might know that Christ looked like that, but behind that is the spirit that our people roll in that is contrary to the black image of Christ. Because the black image of Christ, if you believe in that, give me Deuteronomy 22 and 5. Right, right, I understand, but I'm, I'm going to show you something, though, because belief is an action word. Like, say, for instance, you know a brother, he 500 pounds. He said, look, I'm going to believe I'm going to lose weight, but eating Popeyes, and, and he eating Popeyes every day, and, um, uh, yeah, beef patties, and the hosties, uh, tasty cakes. Is that, does that brother really believe he's going to lose weight? So it, it's by action. If you see this brother 500 pounds, he on a treadmill every day, he in the gym. You can tell his belief through his, through his actions. Understand that. So read that real quick. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22 and verse 5. So now we're getting on some beliefs because we might intellectually know something, but to believe something comes with action. Read. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Uh -huh. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. So now this is a law of the Bible. It says, neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. What's the clothing? Yeah, Deuteronomy. So, what's the clothing of a woman? What is the attire of the clothing of a woman? Right, but I'm saying though, what do women wear? Like, say if you went over to China. Oh. Right. So, if you went over to China, you don't speak Cantonese. You had to go to the restroom. How would you tell, distinguish the male bathroom from the female bathroom? What would be on the door? Huh? But you don't speak it. You can't speak Cantonese. What's the universal symbol? That's on all bathrooms. It's a picture. You never seen a woman on, on the bathroom side with a dress on? See, it's universally understood that women wear dresses. Only in America or Babylon the Great where all things is confused. That's why this place is called Babylon the Great, which literally translates into land of great confusion. Understand that. Read that. Now go. Um, I'm going straight to hell. Go back to uh, what was we? 32, 3224. My fault, excuse me. So now we're getting on belief, showing that belief got to come with action. This is the book of Sarah, Ecclesiastica, chapter 20, 32, and verse 24. He that believeth in the Lord taketh heed to the commandments. So 
So he that believes in the Lord has to take heed to the commands. What's your question, bro? Right. That's what the Bible says. Right. Denying ungodliness. I know, I know. I'm, I'm telling you where that comes from. Just to you, bro. Oh, we gotta go out the Bible. I'm not reading the Bible. I'm talking. We gotta go out the Bible. Okay. okay. That's what I'm saying. But give me first Peter's point. I'm gonna ask you. I got, I got to can show you. Can I ask a question, bro? Yeah, but I, let me can show I you something. Ask the question. Ask the question, bro. Grace that comes from the Lord dying for all of our sins. The grace that we have to be able to get through. That's the way those who not keep the commandments. That's why the Lord comes in and died for our sins because those who would not be your commandments, they also still be grace to say. Well, well, we're going to trust that. That is an action. That was the action that was committed. We're going to get, we're going to get that Hebrews for it. We're going, get, we're going to get Hebrews for it. Read this though. Read this. This is the book of First Peter. Because people often want to hear what we got to say. What difference does it make me what we got to say? Because our people hate hearing what God has to say. Read this. First Peter chapter 4 and verse 11. Read. If any man speak. If what? If any man speak. Read it again. If any man speak. Read it again. This is the book of First Peter chapter 4 and verse 11. If any man speak. If any man speak. Let him speak as the oracle of God. Read it again for him. If any man speak. So if any man speak. <laughs> let him speak as the oracles of God. So let him speak as the oracles of God. So you're not going to come up here and get our own opinion. We're not politicians up here. You ask a question, we're going to go to the Bible and give the answer. If you don't like the answer, that's not our problem. Give me Hebrews 10, dealing with grace. This is our, this is our people that despise the laws of God and it shows in our community. How? Black on black crime. This is the book of Hebrews, chapter 10 and verse 26. For if we sin willfully, read it again. For if we sin willfully, so we sin willfully. Get what sin is. Give me First John three and four, so we can break this down. You hear that? Because the brothers speaking saying we can't say that, but collectively, have you heard of a term called black on black crime? Exactly. That's not that's not an isolated incident. That's multiple cases spread throughout, which coined the phrase black on black crime. So we dealing with a nation of people. The people on this side. You've never heard on white on white crime. You've never heard Chinese on Chinese crime. So what we're saying is, it's hatred in our community. Read that again. This is the book of First John, chapter three and verse four. So we're dealing with what sin is, because the Hebrew said if we sin willfully. So now we got to find out what sin is. Whosoever committeth sin, so whoever commits sin, transgresseth, transgress means to break or go against. Also the law. Breaks the law for what? For sin. So sin is the transgression of the law. So sin is breaking God's law. So go back to Hebrews. Now we got the sense. This is the book of Hebrews, chapter 10 and verse 26. Uh -huh. For if we sin willfully, so we break God's laws willfully, willy-nilly, after that, we have received the knowledge of the truth. The truth is that what? You blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are the Israelites, and you're called to repentance, keeping God's commandments. Right. So now that you've understood that and heard that, if you sin willfully, what? Read. There remaineth no more sacrifice for sin. Meaning your grace period is over. Right. Because I can't say, hey, Sprint, I haven't paid my cell phone bill in six months. Keep my service on. Right. No, brother, the grace period has expired. But our people love sin, and it shows in our community. Again, black on black crime. That's evident of sin. Single parent homes. Give me that next about the law dealing with a woman, man. All these things are sins that we lay in out that plague our community. The lowest rate of two parent homes prior to 1965, we had the highest rate of two parent homes in America. Those are stacks that anyone can look up on their phone right now. Read that. I want the uh, uh, if he entice a maid, brother. You know what I want? This is the book of Exodus, chapter 22 and verse 16. Bring it up. If a man entice a maid, so I'm gonna break it down. If a man entice a maid, the Bible says, if a man runs game, spits game to a sister to get in her drawers to make it plain, that is not betrothed. So the sister's not engaged to another brother, and lie with her, have sex with her. 
He shall surely. He shall what? He shall surely. No, maybe. Shall surely. Uh huh. Endure her to be his wife. You hear that, sister? So if a man, a, a, a young brother out here sleeping with a sister, the Bible says he got to make her his wife. That's right. Now you ain't got, uh, uh, what they call it? Uh, baby mom. Now you ain't on child support. That's the law of God that's lacking in our community. But we got foolish people, coons of our people, that are opposed to what we teach. They better don't get in the job. Because this is nothing that the brothers oppose. Because the Bible is a commandment for a man to work. But brothers want to sit out here on the stoop smoking cigarettes living off government assistance. Right. right. This is the book of 2 Thessalonians, chapter 3 and verse 10. Uh -huh. For even we were with you. Uh -huh. This we commanded you. No, this we suggest. This we command you. Brother, maybe you should do this. This we command you. Uh huh. That if any would not work. So that any brother that don't want a fully able man. I'm not talking about a man with a disability. A fully able grown man sitting around waiting on the first and the fifteenth. Neither should he eat. The Bible said that brother got the stars. But what the cool, what the slave mentality of our people say. I want the welfare. This low self-esteem. Give me that in uh, Hosea. About how people go without an image. Because you got, we out here teaching brothers to get married, brothers to get jobs, brothers to stop with the killing, and you got people coming up against that. Talk about now, nah, brother, I'm under grace, so I can continue to sleep with all the women and kill as many brothers as I want. Right. Foolishness, man. Read that. Right. This is the book of Hosea, chapter 3 and verse 4. Uh -huh. For the children of Israel shall abide many days. So you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans will go many days. 400 years from 1619 and 1492 without a king without a king because we had no idea Christ was our king and without a prince uh -huh. and without a sacrifice uh -huh. without any knowledge of what to do as this Bible instructors because the Bible says we got to be the living sacrifice understand that we've gone a long time without this knowledge read and without an image without a what and without an image how, how do we know blacks ain't got an image that you ask what's black culture you get 600 different answers what's black heritage you get 500 answers so i already let you know that's the people that has no image no identity so if you don't know who you are how you gonna know where you're going right understand that basic concept you got a gps in order for the GPS to tell you where you got to go, they got to first locate your current position. Simple things that our people don't understand. But we walk around here talking about we anybody and we everybody. Meanwhile, our communities like dump, white folks moving in, shipping Negroes out the Waldorf in Southern Maryland right. on vouchers. Read that again. This is the book of Hosea, chapter 3 and verse 4. Uh -huh. For the children of Israel shall abide many days without a king uh -huh. and without a prince. Right, we have no idea Christ was our king and prince. We and have with, no idea that we are the princes of the, of the Most High God. Right. And without a sacrifice. And we had no idea that God has required us to be a sacrifice because the law of sacrifice was done away with under Christ's death. That's why it says that we are to be a living sacrifice. Meaning what? We got to offend less. Means sin less and less. Read. And without an image. a lot of our people with blonde hair because we don't have an image. Because you're not going to see anybody of royalty sitting on a stoop drinking old English and smoking cigarettes. Right. You're not going to see a, a royal princess dressing like a stripper. Understand that's all low self-worth. And to sit there and speak against that, brother, you got to be in the twilight zone. Read. Yeah, bring that up. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 30 and verse 1. Uh-huh. Whoa! To the rebellious children. So the Bible in the end says, Woe to the rebellious. You rebels that don't want to do what the Bible says. And I'm going to give you a number. When Christ come back, it's going to be 66%. That's what the woe going to be. Right. And we're going to get that in Zechariah after he finished this. Read. Save the Lord. Save who? Save the Lord. Now say the light skin brother in the purple. Save the Lord. Uh-huh. That take counsel. We take counsel. But not of me. I want to see what Barack got to say. I want to see what Hillary got to say. What's CNN talking about? We take a counsel, but not of God. Read. And cover with a covering. And we cover with a cover because the covering that we got is Christianity. Meaning what? That's just a, a cover title. Under Christianity, you could do and believe whatever the hell you want to believe. That's just a false covering to do what? But not 
of my spirit. Because it ain't of the spirit of the Lord. That they may add. That they may do what? That they may add. So this is the mathematics. You brother talking about what's the mathematics? This is the mathematics of our people. That they may add sin to sin. That they may add what? That they may add sin to sin. And they all calculate we niggas and coons here in America. That's the end result. Right. Read. Verse 8. Now go, write it before them in a table, uh -huh. and note it in a book, uh -huh. that it may be for a time, in a time, forever and ever, uh -huh. that this is a rebellious people. You see that? We the rebels. The original rebels. Lying children. What? Lying children. Seven lies on the Bible. Children I that will not hear the law of the Lord. We don't want to hear the law of the Lord. You got a question, young brother? Oh, your mom watch all praises. So that's why we out here. Y'all sisters don't have no questions on what's being covered? Okay, all praises. Now go back to what I want. I want to Zachariah. Because a lot of times when we hear when Christ come back, but how you when, when, when Christ come back, what you think it's gonna be when he returns? How you think Christ gonna come back? As he gonna come back, he's gonna be like, hey, it's good to see you. How have you been? How you think he's gonna come back? I know, but what specifically will Christ be doing? Is he gonna be giving out hugs and kisses? And what else? What else he gonna do? Because you gotta who who are his people? You said what now, sis? The who? Well, the Moors is the Portuguese word for black. So he's gonna be coming back for the Israelites. So matter of fact. We're going to get, get Revelation 13, 9, and 10. No, I want the law. Give me that answer. Because you say he's coming back for his people. But his people being held prisoners. Right. His people being held prisoners. That's right. Because they got last names that don't belong to them. Right. Y'all sisters hear that? I said his people uh, are, are being held prisoners. Because the people that came over here, they got last names of those that are prisoners. Like, what's your last name? Right. Who did that come from? Oh, well, who who gave him that name? The slave master, sis. That's right. The slave. We got it. We can't be scared. The slave. We we all were born into this world with slave names. If we weren't born in this truth, right? Understand that. So that they put that on our people to show that they were property, that they were captives. So let's get the law, because you said Christ coming back with power. But what are you going to be doing? Because there's certain people we coming back for and they being held captive. Read right. That. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 21 and verse 16. Bring it up. And he that stealeth a man. And he says, listen to this. The Bible said, he that stealeth a man. Were, were blacks and Latinos stolen? It's a yes or no question. Were they stolen? Right. So the Bible said, he that stealeth the man, because we was over in the west coast of Africa. We were stolen and bought over here in Cargo Slaves. I think we all would agree with that, correct? So the Bible says, he that stealeth the man. And sell it him. And what? And sell it him. What happened when we got here to America? They sold us. Right. Read. Or if he be found. So when Christ come back, because we can agree that we still want to be here in America when Christ come back. So this man is going to be found. Or if he be found in his hand. And these particular people going to be still in the hands of the white man. How? Because they got his last name. Shall surely be put to death. Yes. Shall what? Shall surely. Be put to death. So what's going to happen when Christ comes back to rescue his people? Somebody, the Bible says somebody going to get put to death. Let's go to the New Testament. Let's go to the newest of the New Testament. You know what I want? This is the book of Revelation, chapter 13 and verse 10. Uh-huh. I want nine. Verse nine. Now hold on, ladies. Don't get distracted by the food. Listen to this. If any man have an ear, let no, them buses coming all day, sis. I ain't got I hear that. Read that. If any man have an ear, if any man have ear, be understanding. Let him hear. Uh -huh. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. So who led us into captivity? Simple question. Our people don't want to answer that. Read. And he that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. You hear that? The Bible says he must be killed with the sword. He goes. Hey, real quick, sister. I want to ask you a question, sister, with the uh, suit jacket on. I heard you say you're not a slave. But I got a question for you. You said you weren't a slave, right? I heard you say that when I was over there. You're not a slave now. So you're saying you're not? You don't think you are? Okay, now, so when we were on a plantation back in the day, could we leave a plantation and go to another one?
them or did we need paperwork? Did we need paperwork or could you just go to another plantation? Yeah, they had paperwork. So now if you want to go to Europe, can you just go to Europe or do we need paperwork? If you want to go to Europe, can you go without paperwork? Can you go without a passport? You're not free, sis. Go ahead. There you go. Come back up. You can't go nowhere. You're not free, sis. That's right. You're not free. Get uh, Baruch 3 and 8. Bring it up. Baruch 3 and 8. Let's see what the Bible says. Let's see if the Bible says we're free. This is the book of Baruch chapter 3 and verse 8. Behold, we are yet this day. Hold on. Let's listen to the Bible. What does it say? Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. The Bible say what? Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. Yes, if you pay taxes to another nation of people, you 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 a slave. Right. If your name, if your money, if your face ain't on the money, you a slave. Right. Believe right. that. We not free. You got. You think you free. Shalom, Israel. I'm Eldon Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this Join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.